All right, in this video, I'm going to go through the problems on page two, starting with the word problems up at the top. And these first three problems are all about um, work problems. So let's see. Working alone. All right, we've got Elisa working with Jill. Uh, and there's our total. So let's see. Elisa, let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, Elisa can pick 40 bushels in 12 hours. Jill can pick the same amount, so 40 bushels in 11 hours. How long would it take them if they work together? So together they're gonna pick 40 bushels in I don't know how much time. So let's give them an X for time. There we go. All right, so setup wise, it's now set up. If we now wanna talk about um, multiplying this through to get rid of your common denominators or to get a common denominator, I should say, uh, you're going to use 132, so 12 times 11. So let's see, that would be 40 times 11, so 440x plus 12 times 40, 480x. And 40 times 132, that is not even close to happening in my head. So 5,280, thank you, calculator. All right, so this is going to be 920x. Those are like terms, so I combine them. All right, so if I divide then, I'm gonna get x equals, and it's not gonna turn out to be too pretty, I don't think. So if that happens, uh, 5280 divided by 920, yeah, it's not the prettiest answer in the whole wide world. Um, unless the directions say otherwise, I lean into just doing um, two decimal places, and that'll be completely happy with me. So this is time in hours, so 5.74 hours if we round. Much less time than had they done it by themselves. All right, so that's problem number seven all done. I'm gonna roll on up to number eight here. All right, so we've got Ted, we've got Brenda, and then of course we're gonna have a total here. So Ted can paint one fence in nine hours. One day his friend Brenda helped him and it only took 4.74 uh, hours. All right, so together they did one fence and she took 4.74 hours. He took 4.74 hours. How long would it take Brenda to paint a fence if she did alone? So one fence in, I have no idea how long for Brenda. All right, so there's the setup to get the um, problem going, okay? So common denominator here, at least common multiple is gonna be nine X. So we're gonna have 4.74 X because the nines would cancel. Plus, all right, the X's are gonna cancel. So now I gotta do nine times 4.74. So let's see, 42.66. And then that's gonna equal nine X. All right, so now uh, I want to get the X's on the same side. So let's see, 42.66, 9 minus 4.74 is going to be 4.26X. Divide both sides. Whoops. Type something in the calculator wrong. That's not going to be good. All right, so again, two decimal places, and I'm going to go 10.01. Uh, all right, so as a final answer then, 10.01, and again, we're talking about time in hours, okay? So that's for problem number eight, all done. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program here, number nine. All right, so we've got basically Mr. Cat and Mr. Dog, so let's see. Cat here plus dog here equals total. All right, Mr. Cat can destroy eight, do, 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 eight toys in five days. Dog can destroy six toys in nine days. All right, Mr. Cat destroys toys for seven days and is then joined by dog. So Cat gets a seven day head start. All right, cat and dog can destroy 45 toys total. How many days has it been since Mr. Cat destroyed the first toy? So plus X here. Oops, not plus X. That's going to be a times X for his time. Okay. So 
Going ahead and setting this up this way, I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything through by 45. That's my common denominator. So that's going to get me 9 times 8, so 72 times x plus 7, or 7 plus x. Uh, let's see, 5 times 6 is going to get me 30x. Uh, less than equal sign in the last part. There's my equal sign. And then let's see, 45 times 45... Uh, none of that's happening in my head. All right, 2025. So a little distributive property here, 72x plus 72 times 7 is 504 plus 30x, 2025. All right, so combining like terms, that's going to get me 102x. And then if I take 2025 minus 504, 15, 21. I'm completely running out of space. Shocking, I write too large. Uh, so let's move it up top here. So 15, 21 divided by 102, I got 14.91, which is how many days dog worked. All right, because that's the X here represents dog's time. Now I'm asking you how many days have been some Mr. Cat destroyed the first toy. So that's gonna be, I need cat's time. So I'm gonna take this plus seven to get 21.91 and this is time in days, okay? So that takes us through seven, eight, nine, which were the word problems for people doing work together. Uh, the last two problems on the page are the U substitution problems. And it does say, I want to check the directions here to find the real solutions. All right, so make sure you are only focusing on the real solutions. Other problems may say to find all solutions. All right, so it will depend. All right, so let me zoom in on number 10 here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, I have a pen. All right, so I am going to let u equal x squared. So it's going to be u squared minus 11u plus 24 equals 0. Uh, I can factor that. 8, 3, both are negative. So this is going to mean u is equal to 8 and u is equal to 3. However, u is not what we're looking for. We're looking to solve for x. So we're going to do x squared equals 8 and x squared equals 3. I'm going to take the square root of both sides on all, both equations here. Uh, so let's see, we're going to x is equal to plus or minus. Now, square root of 8 can be simplified if I, yeah, a little space off to the side here. So this would be root 2 times root 4. I really should write those the reverse. So give me one second. We'll delete here. All right, root 4 times root 2. So it's going to be 2 root 2. Okay, so there's two of my answers. Those are real solutions. And then for the other part, um, I'm going to do plus or minus. I cannot break up the square root of 3, so that one's now done. All four of those answers are all real solutions. So problem number 10 is all done. Remember, your first step is to do the initial substitution to turn this into a quadratic. Solve, solve, solve. Then substitute back for what you originally had to then create an equation that you're solving for the original variable. All right, so last problem on the page here, number 11. I'm going to do the exact same stuff here. All right, so off to the side here, let u equal x squared. So it's going to be u squared minus 3u minus 10 equals 0. Factor, factor, factor. 5, 2, minus, plus. So u equals positive 5, u equals negative 2. But again, that's not what was in the original problem. So let's go back to x squared equals 5 and x squared equals negative 2. Okay, so this way we can solve for the original problem for x. All right, so I'm going to square root, square root, square root, square root some more. All right, so this is going to be x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5, which is awesome. That is absolutely one of my answers. And unfortunately, right here, this is imaginary. So as soon as I know that I'm dealing with the square root of a negative, I'm not going to even bother going any further. So this part is, I'll just cross this out. Um, in case you did need to know the answer, uh, you could tell me x is equal to plus or minus root 2i. 
but that's because you have the negative underneath the square root. There's my i. This is absolutely not a real solution, so no, I don't want that. All right, let's see if I can pinch in. All right, so there's both problem number 10 and 11. I'm going to go ahead and close this video and welcome you to come back to number, uh, view number three uh, for page three.